All right, you guys, so I know <clears throat> you guys can see by the title what I'm making. I am making Halushki. I absolutely love Halushki. And it's not that hard to make. It's just a little time consuming with the cabbage, but that's fine. So first what you want to do is you want to get a pot that's big enough, depending on how many people you're serving. Get a pot, put some salt in it, and let it boil. Because you're going to put the noodles in. And you can do the noodles of your choice. I just like the bow tie noodles because it's just what I've been eating with it. But you can pick whatever noodles you want. Um, and also comment below and let me know if you guys use anything different for your recipe. Alright, so then I'm going to take an onion, some onion powder, some garlic salt, some pepper, and a couple other hint seasonings. Hint, hint, hint. Some good seasonings that you would use for halushki and of course I got my head of cabbage so what I'm gonna do first is after I put the water on to boil I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna cut it up as small as possible you don't want it too too small but you don't want it too big um, because you want it to <clears throat> boil with the onion and the seasoning and but you also want to be able to taste it as well so all right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut all this stuff up, and I'll be back, and I'll show you the next step of what I'm going to do with the cabbage. And this recipe was passed on through my family, um, so I did kind of tweak it up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to use the exact same ingredients that everybody else made in the family, but I'm going to get as close to it as possible. Like I said, there is some secret key ingredients that I can't give away but you will enjoy. All right, you guys, I will be All right, you guys, so in a separate pan, I have the onions getting done. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them to where they're translucent. I'm not going to actually fry them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cabbage in. Hold on. I'm going to add the cabbage in with it, little by little, and just stir it around um, until the cabbage boils down just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to completely fry it, but I want to get it done enough. Um, other people, I've seen, okay, my mother, for instance, she takes the cabbage and lays it out on a um, paper towel or whatever you want to put it on. And put salt all over it and lets it sit and then drains it like she could squeeze it and like water comes out of it um, she does it that way and then she puts it in and boils it <clears throat> with everything I'm choosing to do it this way um, with the onions and that because it's gonna bring out more flavor I don't know how anybody else does it comment below and let me know if you do it differently but I'm gonna add the seasoning into the cabbage and not the noodles. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Into the cabbage and not the noodles. So I'm going to add my onion powder, garlic salt, pepper, and my key ingredients. They're secret. I can't tell you. If I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> LOL. Just joking, YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this all cooked down, and then I'm going to add it to my noodles. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you once I get everything cooked down. Alright y'all, so everything is boiled down in here, so I turned that off. Now all I gotta do is drain the noodles in here, which they should be about done as well. They've been in for probably about 7 or 8 minutes, and I like mine a little bit al dente, I don't like them real mushy. So I'm going to taste test one of these and mix them all together. I'll be right. So the noodles are drained. So the only thing left to do is to mix the halushki noodles up with the cabbage mixture and mix it all up and enjoy. All right, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to scrape, lightly scrape with a plastic spoon. You never want to use metal, especially on Teflon, because it'll peel it. So like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications and let me know what you guys put in your halushki and enjoy the rest of your